Hello everybody, welcome back to the Realm of Vastin. Today's a video that I just have to do. Unfortunately, unfortunately for me, unfortunately for y'all, hope you enjoy Minecraft Doodle Jump Edition. Hello everybody, welcome back to the Realm of Vastin. Well, I have a debt to pay. It's a pay, it's a debt I've not been looking forward to paying, uh, quite honestly, I, I, I never thought the day would come, but I challenged my Discord some time ago to beat my, to beat my score on uh, Doodle Jump, the greatest cell phone game ever created, Doodle Jump. And uh, I set a score that was so high that I didn't think anyone would beat it, and no one could for a long, long time. But then it finally happened. King Wolf beat my doodle jump score. So a debt is a debt and it's time to make good on it. So we are gonna build King Wolf a statue right here. As I promised, I said, anyone who beats my score, the first person who beats my score is gonna get a statue. I'm gonna make this video a little bit different than my usual one because you're gonna watch my building on the left and I'm gonna voice over the whole thing uh, separately. And then also you're gonna get to watch me play doodle jump during the entirety of this build, okay? So uh, let's cut now and get ready to build King Wolf's Doodle Jump statue. And also, you get to watch some amazing Doodle Jump footage. So how fun is that? I have no idea how fun that is. I'm actually asking. I don't know. <laughs> all right, all right, let's give it a shot and see what happens. Well, my friends, here it is. Here it is. It finally came down to this. <laughs> it finally came down to this. I made a gamble on my Discord, and I got a little bit full of myself, a little overconfident. Fix got cocky, and I'm paying the price for it right now. So I had, I got really into the game Doodle Jump. If you don't know what it is, it's a great cell phone game, uh, the best cell phone game ever made, in my opinion. And I will tell you what what it takes to have a great cell phone game here in just a few moments. If you're thinking about making one, listen to listen to me. I, I spend a lot of time on my phone, too much time probably. So I made a gamble on my Discord, and by the way, if you're not on my Discord, you got to join it. It's a great place to hang out, great builders, great community, awesome, really funny people, and the whole thing. Yeah, it's, it's a very cool place. It's uh, um, as kind of a uh, Discord community as you can possibly get. Like, everyone's, like, super supportive, and, and yeah, it's just awesome. Anyway. I made it. I made a gamble. I said, "Hey, if anyone can beat this this high score I got, of like eighty-seven thousand somewhere in that area, then I will build you a statue in the realm of Ass." And I thought, "No one's ever gonna beat that." Ah, yeah, I got this. I got this. By the way, I don't know if you know, like with the webcam on, all this beautiful, beautiful hair. My goodness, my goodness, blows in the wind. I'm trying something new. I want to see 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 if I see if I still got it. And, and King Wolf 10, you did it. You did it. You beat my high score and you beat it. You beat it rather convincingly. You got like 93,000 something in that area. So, uh, well, I, I tried, I tried and I couldn't, I couldn't take it over. So I got a, I owe you a statue. So here we go. We're, we're building you a, a statue in the, in the realm of Aston as promised. Now I thought really hard about this. Yeah. I made a mistake in my counting up there. <laughs> I see it took me a little bit to figure out what the heck I did wrong. Anyway, uh, I, I, I did a lot of thinking where I want to put the statue, you know, because this realm of Aston, it's kind of serious world building world, you know, like we don't have a bunch of pixel art everywhere and that kind of stuff. So I, I didn't want to just make a big, like what you might do on a typical SMP is make a, you know, a big pixel art doodle jump thing. Well, I couldn't really do that. So I had to come up with, with a reason of why. And the, the reason, the way I wanted to do it was, is I thought, well, what if the elves, because this is my player base, I didn't want to put it in Monument of the Fallen because that's where, that's for people who, uh, uh, supporter, channel supporters, like, like Twitch subscribers and YouTube members and, and, um, uh, Patreons and, and all that kind of stuff. Don't, big donators, all that, everything. So, um, I thought, well, what if the elves who live here in my player base, what if they had kind of a boogeyman, like the elven version of a boogeyman, right? And they said, hey, kids, elven kids, if you're not good, then we are going to send the doodle jump monster after you and it's going to eat you, you know, like, 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 like the old uh, grim fairy tales. Right. So I thought that seems like a really barely passable lore, lore reason. So I think, I think we can do it. So what I'm doing here is I'm actually building a doodle jump character, which you probably saw in the thumbnail. I mean, that's, that's, that's probably what, what, you know, I'm, I, you've, you're probably looking at right now, but anyway, doodle jump character, uh, who is like the elven boogeyman 
uh, in lore. And uh, yeah, so we're working on it. Now, I, I went through a whole bunch of different uh, palettes here in my testing world to sort of figure out what looked good and what didn't work and, and all that kind of stuff. And, and uh, our terracotta is just such a nice texture that, that I, I thought that that would be the best bet. And actually, I made a, a critical mistake coming here in just a few seconds whenever I move on to yellow where I, I made his body come out. So, like, the Doodle Jump character, it, it's like it's like his body, his, his, like, green and black pants go up and then his body goes straight up. Well, what I did is I tried to go up and then out and then up like a head. And he looked like a, he looked like a, like a mushroom. But he's not a mushroom. He's a Doodle, doodle Jump thing. So, uh, so it didn't work. Okay, so it didn't. So, so I had I had to end up redoing this later on, and then I ended up in, in the end. I put a roof over top of it as well, just so it fit in the castle. So it's not so incredibly glaringly obvious that I have a big dumb green and yellow cartoon character here in my player base. But I, I think there's some lore, so it's okay. You know, it's okay. It's all right. So, okay, uh, let me tell you. Let me explain to you what a great cell phone game needs to have. There's three things I figured out after a long time of trying a whole bunch of different cell phone games. Now, remember, I'm 43 years old, right? I know, I don't look it. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. You can comment that if you want to in the YouTube video. It's totally fine. But and, and, I, I'm far from a middle-aged man playing Minecraft, as we've discussed in, in live streams. We've come to the conclusion. Middle age is way, way, <laughs> way down the road for me. Anyway. So what I want to do is, is I want to explain to you what a great cell phone game needs to have for like a casual oldie like me, right? Okay, three things. One, it has to be able to be played one-handed because all the time when you're in cell phone, you're just like, maybe you're carrying something or maybe you're, you're doing something, whatever, and you just pick it up and play. I don't want to like sit here and be like, okay, let me get my two control controls. Um, also, the other, the other part of that is it has to be, it should be played in, in, in portrait mode. Because you can hold it one-handed. Good, good, good luck playing a game like this, right? Good luck playing a game like this. You can't. You need two hands, and what that means is that means you need two thumbs on the game. And what that means is your thumbs cover the screen too much, right? It's not good. It's not good. Do jump is the greatest game because you have no thumbs covering the screen. You just t tap it every once in a while to shoot. But for the most part, you get full view of the screen. It's great. Okay. Two. Number two. A game has to be able to start and finish within five to ten minutes max. Like, I love that they have games like Baldur's Gate and, and Knights of the Old Republic and all that kind of stuff. Like, that's really cool and it's awesome. But I, I, I've tried. I've bought both of those two games in particular that, that I thought of there. Dude, I, I don't... I, if I have enough time to really sit down and deeply do a deep dive into a game, I'm not going to be playing on my cell phone. Because I'll be playing on either a console or my, my computer, right? So a game like uh, Mario Run is a really, really well-designed game. It, it fits all those things. It's it's one, it's portrait mode, it's one-handed, uh, and, um, and, and the games don't last very long. The other thing, the third thing, number three, is you need to be able to start the game almost immediately. So games with like long loading screens on a cell phone, forget it. Half the time you're going to play a cell phone game, you're like, okay, I have one minute to kill. You know, I have one minute to go. I'm not going to sit there for 52 seconds of that one minute watching a freaking loading screen. It drives me crazy. It drives me nuts. Like, start the game and get it rolling. So if you if you have a good cell phone game that follows those three rules, one, one-handed, two, games are fairly short, five to ten minutes or so, uh, and three, these guys are the hardest guys. Man, those those, those flying guys, they're, they're, the, they're the ones that I die to the most often because I'm looking at them and I'm not watching where I'm jumping. Uh, then, then uh, leave me a comment, okay? Leave me a comment. I'm always, always on the lookout for a new cell phone. Game. And the, uh, also, I hate free games. I don't mind paying for it at all. In fact, I'd like to pay for it, but don't pay for it. And then also have like microtransactions in there. Just, just tell me how much the game costs, and I'll just buy it, and I'm good. You know, I, I don't like the free the game that's going to bombard me with either ads or or. or Oh, now you, to get this, you have to pay money or, or you have to wait forever to get this. Like, I used to go in clicker games. You know, you know those clicker games? Those clicker games are like, you just click the button and it'll upgrade your room or whatever. And then you get so much money and then you click it and then you money faster and then you click it again. To, and you can just keep upgrading and then you buy a new room and blah, 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 you know. I used to be into those. But after you get to a certain point, it takes like days or weeks to progress just a little bit. Or you spend money on it, and that's like the money wall, right? That's what we, that's what, you know, just, I, I'll, I'll, I'll pay for it. I'll pay for it. Just, you know, whatever, man. Just don't, don't keep trying to suck money out of me. Ow. 
That was not a good run. There was only like 41,000 in that game. Anyway, okay, so 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 I'm still looking for good cell phone games. Anyway, other things that are going on here, since this is the weirdest episode of Minecraft I have ever, ever, ever recorded, ever. <clears throat> There's a bunch of cuts here. I don't know if you're, I don't know if you can see them, but I, I'm cutting a ton of like in the building part where just all of a sudden like now there's a roof on the, on this thing, and then in a second it's going to cut again. Then all of a sudden there's going to be like a bunch of shrubbery and stuff like that. But okay, it's 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 fine. You get the idea. You've seen the building on camera, which is what people love. People tell me they love the building on camera. I don't get it. Not my bag, but okay, you know. So here, a bunch of building on camera and doodle jump on camera. Everyone always says, "Fix, give us doodle jump on camera." That's that's the one thing that we that we really that we really want to see. Okay, so uh, anyway, that's that, that that's gonna that's gonna do it for this weirdest episode of of vast and of all time. Uh, I will uh, pop into game and I'll show you the finished product. Okay, uh, well, I'll, I'll see you on the other side there. I'm back. I'm back after the humbling experience that is building a freaking doodle jump statue. But I'm back. And I did some landscaping in addition that I thought I could show off and uh, just kind of talk about uh, the build in general. Uh, we, you know, touched on most of it over the voiceover and stuff like that. Uh, but, yeah, you can see I did did a whole bunch of landscaping here and made it look, uh, look kind of cool. I did fix the doodle jump statue as well since... Uh, here, King Wolf, there's your score. 93,312. It's an impressive score, dude. Uh, but yeah, so I, I, I smoothed, as I said in the intro, I smoothed off, uh, the head, because the head was, was wider, and I didn't, it didn't look right. And I narrowed this part, bringing that part out a little bit more. I think it worked, yeah, I think it worked really well. So, let's go take a quick look, uh, up at it, and then I'm gonna go get some rockets in my player base and discuss some other things I would do out here while we're while we're here in my player base, which we haven't been to all that much. I know I stopped by for a, a quick second, but didn't really didn't really hang out here. One of the things I really, really, really want to do it, very soon, like in the very near future, is I I want to dive hard. I've been planting, by the way, if you don't know what I'm doing here. Um, I want to dive hard into into these crystals. I think that would be really, really cool. Let's hit up Spectator and take a quick look around and, uh, you know, see... Uh, See, see the state of the the player base now because even though we haven't been working on it, we're not done yet uh, I did build some stuff off camera um, I think you saw this statue with the crystal or, or geez, statue it's not a statue it's a tower that is a tower with the crystal here um, I think you saw that uh, let's see and then there's Here's the dual jump statue. You know, I really, really, really like the white. I'm so glad I went with diorite for the roads. It's just nice. It just, it looks really good. I tried to add a little bit of supports there. I'm not done with that yet, but, um, uh, you know, it's fine for now. Another thing that I want to do is I want to I want to probably take down this tree or take down the leaves or something and, and do a different tree because I don't like that this spruce blends in with the spruce that I have hanging all over the dual jump statue, showing some age there. Um, and put a tree in the back and all that kind of stuff. But but yeah, we're, we're getting there. We're getting there. It's not bad. It's not bad. Um, there's some, so I so like I said about the crystal, I'm still looking for a crystal design. If you have access to the realm of Vastin, a little taste of Vastin pack, man, maybe you could come in and give us some give us some love and help me design a better crystal. Because I I've tried a bunch of different things. Someone suggested putting lava on the inside. It didn't really work. For me, because you could you could just tell it was lava. It was just really obvious it was lava. And I don't know. I'm still look. I I don't hate that one. I like it more than the others, especially from a distance. But I don't love it. So I'm still still looking. I'm still looking for a better design uh, on on that stuff. But yeah, I want to do some more stuff. I want to obviously do a lot of landscaping and, and all that kind of thing. I need to light up everything to keep the Endermen from spawning constantly. Uh, a lot of this, like, andesite and cobblestone needs to come in the cliffs, which, you know, that's just, that's just kind of a painstaking process. But we're getting there. We're getting there. You know, if you go through the, if you go through the palace, a lot of it actually has interiors and stuff. Still working. Still working. But a lot of it actually does. I wouldn't say maybe all, <laughs> but, but, uh, yeah, there's actually some interiors inside the palace and we're getting there. We're getting there. There's some other things I want to work on. Like I want to work on over here beside the storage room inside here. This is going to be my my Builder's Guild display room. I think that would be kind of cool. And um, yeah, just some other stuff. I want to add in maybe some bell towers. And I do want to bring in some, uh, I want to bring in some crops or some, uh, some, some animals rather. I want to bring in some animals somewhere. I'm not really sure where, but just small. Like, like uh, maybe a little horse stable would be really nice. It'd be really nice to have horses out here. 
Uh, I don't know. I don't know where because there's not enough room for like a big, a big horse stable, really. You know, unless I did. I don't know, unless I did something half floating or or something like that. But, but um, yeah, still working. Still got a couple towers out here to add and, and stuff. But it's coming along, man. If you haven't seen this in a while. Uh, there's just little things that are new that I couldn't even tell you what they are, like, you know, add a trapdoor here or there, some slabs here or there, that kind of stuff. But, yeah, the, this castle is, it's one of my favorite builds. Probably, I mean, I don't know. I can't, it depends what I think of most recently, but it's one of, certainly one of my favorite builds in all of the Realm of Vass. And, yeah, it's it's just, it's just a cool, here, let me, let me take you up and show you the footprint of it. I feel like a live stream almost. This is kind of what we do in live streams when, when new people pop in and show you it. Yeah, there's a footprint. That's a pretty decent footprint of a player base, right? I think so. Anyway, I'll grab a snapshot of that. Who knows? Maybe we'll use it. All right, that's going to do it for me today, though. That is going to do it. I'm going to wrap it up there, and we will see you next episode of The Realm of Vastin. I'd like to do a quest, so we may be head heading to Adjury to build a couple houses, and uh, it'd be nice to, to knock that out because I need a shovel. I need a better shovel than what I currently have, okay? All right, I will see you all next episode from the Realm of Vastin. Thanks so much for coming by. Thanks for bearing with me through the Doodle Jump stuff. I had to do it. It was a debt, and I'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.